retired nonprofit director John Lazar says that his pick is an exciting dining destination that offers outstanding flavors in a delightful and attentive atmosphere. Boasting an exotic menu, he says you will fall in love with the relaxed yet sophisticated vibe. It's located in Fort Lauderdale and it's called Moksha Indian Brasserie. Hi, my name is Rish Karam. I'm the owner of Moksha Indian Brasserie. Traveling throughout the United States, visiting cities like New York, Chicago, LA, the Indian dining scene, and you know, all of these wonderful cities is just amazing. And I really felt that we were lacking that here in South Florida. You know, I could kind of go anywhere between Palm Beach, Broward County, Miami-Dade County, and I just didn't really find that true Indian dining experience. So I really want to take my own stab at it. And I came across this location and this space. And I think this is a fantastic area. And I felt that there was a need for it. So that's how Moksha Indian Brasserie came about. I was born and raised here in the U.S. My family comes from Mumbai, um, all of them. A lot of our staff here also is, originates you know, from Mumbai as well. And Mumbai is one of those cities where you know, a lot of people from all over the country do flock to. It is kind of like that city of dreams and opportunity back home in India. And that's kind of what we also focus on here in the restaurant. We don't just focus on solely North Indian cuisine where you're going to get just butter chicken and your typical you know, Indian dishes that you get at other restaurants, but more so we focus on all the various regions of you know, where you can get food. When you walk through our doors, we wanted to really welcome you in and really kind of be, you know, enveloped in our entire atmosphere. Whether that's the, the chic lighting, the murals on the wall, the neon signs, all things of that nature. So we just felt all that stuff kind of tied in and just kind of contributed to the overall dining experience. Moksha Indian Brasserie is sophisticated yet approachable. So tell me why Moksha is at the top of your list. Oh, it's just wonderful Indian cuisine. The, uh, uh, the service is very attentive and they have the patience of Job. They'll describe every dish and they'll describe every ingredient. They probably need to. <laughs> and, it's, and it smells, it looks, and it's delicious to eat. And my husband, who is a frequent traveler to India, still says it's one of the best Indian restaurants anywhere. Alex, tell me about it when you first walked in. What did you think about it and have you been there before? Uh, I haven't been there before, but when I first walked in, it almost, um, there was a lot of house music going on, so it almost seemed like I was walking into a nightclub. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> me and my friend were seated right away. And the dining experiences was amazing. You yeah, live close I, by, right? Yeah, I live close by. So tell me I've a little bit about that location. I've passed by it a couple of times, but it was the first time ever um, stepping in there. I went in there for dinner, and the staff was very friendly, and the host seated us right away. Yeah, overall, okay. I enjoyed it. Jeffrey, this was a bit of a ways for you. Was it worth it? Well, you're right. It was kind of a schlep. Kind of drive around a little bit to find it. And then we, when we found it, it was pretty straightforward. But it was, you know, a lovely place, very nice. John, uh, tell me a little bit about what you had this last time. Oh, well, I started off with this wonderful paneer flambéed. So little chunks of cheese. Did uh, it come actually flambéed at the table? Yes, it comes in a little dish and then they come and ignite it for you. So it's a show as well as a meal. What else did you have? I had the uh, coconut chicken meatballs. And me I didn't know that. what to expect. And it came with a very nice chili vinaigrette and there was a sesame seed coating on each of the six or seven meatballs that came mm -hmm. with the portion. Absolutely delicious. Alex, tell me about your experience. So I start off with the samosas. It's basically like a fried dough with potatoes and peas in it. I call it an Indian empanada. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, an Indian empanada, yeah. <laughs> It was very delicious. They served it with mint chutney and tamarind chutney. Mm. The tamarind sauce went beautifully with it. It was delicious. And then we later on had the chicken tikka masala, and I dipped it in with the olive cheese naan. We got that as well. Oof, it was so good. They went beautifully together. Overall, the food was just delicious. And then for dessert, we had this, it's like a little cheese dessert. I forget the name. It's like a cheese ball soaked in sweetened yeah, milk, soaked, a yeah, rasmalai. Yeah, sweetened condensed milk, yeah. That sounds delicious. Yeah, it was really good. Everything was very delicious. It sounds like it, Jeff. I went with my wife. Uh, we started off with drinks. I had a Taj Mahal, which I'm a beer drinker. I really like that. And then I'm a big lamb shank guy, so that for me is a test. So they had that on the menu. I ordered the lamb shank. How was the lamb shank? The lamb shank was good. How were the prices? I thought they were reasonable. I, I didn't really think I was getting gouged, you mm -hmm. know. Comparable to any other Indian restaurant, I guess. Maybe a little bit higher, but not much. 
Well, John, Mushka Indian Brasserie was your pick. Sum it up for us, please. Well, if you want some delicious Indian cuisine, hurry over. Very good service. And there's so many items on the menu, I bet you'll be going back for several times. Alex? Definitely, it seems like a new hip um, Indian restaurant. If you want to listen to house music and bump your head while you're eating food, <laughs> then definitely visit there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeffrey? Uh, nice place. You know, solid restaurant. You're, you know, you'll have a nice meal and a good time. You can enjoy the authentic flavors and classy atmosphere of Moksha Indian Brasserie, located at 2823 East Oakland Park Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. Open for dinner Tuesday to Friday, lunch and dinner on Saturdays and Sundays, and happy hour Tuesday to Thursday. Reservations are accepted, while the average price for dinner without drinks is about $45.